It's 11 trivia questions on animated Disney movies. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show, which comes out every single day. Hit subscribe so you never miss a new episode episode. And if you like episodes, if you like to binge stuff, if you're going on a big trip and you're flying or driving somewhere and you need something to listen to, this might be the show to help you pass the time. There's like 620 episodes to go back and listen to. If you start at the beginning, the episodes are a lot longer. They're like an hour, hour and a half sometimes. And I have two guests on and they battle in different topics. And I've had some really cool guests on like Jim O'Hare from Parks and Recreation and Craig Bartlett, creator of Hey Arnold. So if you like the more interview type podcast, those are the episodes to go check out. If you just want a daily dose of trivia and some banter from me, these are the current formats of the show. Sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's me asking questions to a friend. Sometimes I'm asking, uh, answering questions that someone sent me. Sometimes I have just a, a quick guest on, like on a Skype call as a listener or a Patreon subscriber. So the possibilities of this show are endless, and today is no different. We have animated Disney questions. Now, a couple days ago, we did some movie-related trivia questions from a random card game from my friend, the Monrovia Pet Nanny, Tara Napolitano. But those questions were mostly Disney. For Disney movies, there were a few non-Disney movies like Kung Fu Panda and Shrek, but they were mostly kids' movies. Today is very similar, but they will be different questions that I used in a requested round for my friend Austin's birthday. He plays my live trivia nights at Last Name Brewing in Upland, California every Wednesday, and it was his birthday last week. He turned 30 on November 6th, and he said, can I pick a round? I said, sure. He said, animated Disney, and I said, let's do it. So this is the round that I used just for him, and I ended up using it at all my other trivia locations as well. You can see all kinds of fun stuff I'm up to on my website, TriviaWithBuds.com, including a brand new show for charity that I'll be doing on Sunday, December 8th from 6 to 8 p.m. at an awesome church in San Dimas, California called Holy Name of Mary. If you want to support a great cause, I'm looking for cool Disney donations to uh, make up some prize baskets for this big fundraiser. It's $10 a ticket. And we're doing it in this thing called the Hall for All, which holds, I don't know, a few hundred people. And I've hosted some bingo at this church before. It's a great church run by great people. And I'm really looking forward to doing this event, which is, again, a huge fundraiser for their huge yearly festival in April. You can see all the details. If you Google Holy Name of Mary San Dimas, you'll find this festival every April. And the bingo nights that I help out with and this new trivia night that I kind of pitched to them will be all going to that cause to help with vendors and permits and all the good stuff they do. It brings in thousands of families to this big weekend long festival. And it's like the cleanest, nicest festival I've ever been to um, in terms of rides and vendors and everything. And the food is great and everything's safe and it's in the church parking lot and it's just a, it's just a good time. So if you are into that kind of thing and you live anywhere near where I'm at, in the uh, Southern California area. Check out my website, TriviaWithBuds.com. Click on the event info, grab some tickets, and come win some fantastic prizes at Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, Holy Name of Mary in San Dimas, California, December 8th at 6 p.m. Would love to see you. And you can email me if you have any questions or have anything to donate for prize baskets of the Disney, Marvel, Star Wars variety. That's at RyanBuds at Gmail. Com. All right, we're going to jump into today's episode, which is about Disney. This might be a round I use in the future at that church show. We'll find out, and we'll find out how much you know about these characters and movies right now. Here we go. All right, animated Disney, let's see what you know about these flicks. Number one, which Disney princess shares a name with the Illinois town setting of the film Wayne's World? Question number one, which Disney princess shares a name with the Illinois town setting of the film Wayne's World? Number one. Question number two, in the 2011 Winnie the Pooh movie, what British actor and comedian narrates the film? Number two, in the 2011 Winnie the Pooh movie, what British actor and comedian narrates the film? Number two.
Question number three, Chick Hicks, Ramon, and Fillmore are all characters in what trilogy? Number three, Chick Hicks, Ramon, and Fillmore are all characters in what trilogy? Question number four, Big Hero 6 takes place in a fictional town mixing two cities from Japan and the U.S. What is this fictional city's name? Number four, Big Hero 6 takes place in a fictional town mixing two cities from Japan and the U.S. What is the city's name? Number four. Question number five, though she wants to be a famous chef, what is Tiana's job at two locations in The Princess and the Frog? Question number five, though she wants to be a famous chef, what is Tiana's job at two locations in The Princess and the Frog? Question number six, in what film would you hear the song Zero to Hero? Question number six, in what film would you hear the song Zero to Hero? Number seven on your list, in The Little Mermaid, Ursula has a mole. Is it on her left cheek or right cheek? And I'm talking about her actual cheek as if she stepped out of your TV, not you looking at the TV, just for reference. Number seven, in The Little Mermaid, what cheek is Ursula's mole on? Question number eight, after Snow White and Pinocchio, what is the third theatrically released Disney film? Number eight, after Snow White and Pinocchio, what is the third theatrically released Disney film? Question number nine, what's the name of the gypsy that Quasimodo falls in love with in The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Number nine, what's the name of the gypsy that Quasimodo loves in The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Question number 10, how much money did Frozen make worldwide? Was it 969 million, 1.2 billion, 2.1 billion, or 3.6 billion dollars? Question number 10, how much money did the first Frozen make worldwide? 969, 1.2, 2.1, or 3.6? And your bonus question for two points, what are the names of the fox and the hound from the 1981 movie of the same name? For two points, what are the names of the fox and the hound from the 1981 movie of the same name? Those are all your questions for today's animated Disney round. I hope you had fun playing along with those. Send me your scorecards and let me know how you did. We'll be right back in just a second to see how you did with the answers. Here we go. We're back with the answers. Number one, which Disney princess shares a name with the Illinois town setting of the film Wayne's World? Aurora is the name of the Sleeping Beauty princess, and Aurora, Illinois is the setting for Wayne's World, a town I've done a lot of stand-up comedy shows in. Number two, in the 2011 Winnie the Pooh movie, what British actor and comedian narrates the film? That would be John Cleese. John Cleese of Faulty Towers and Monty Python fame. Uh, One of my nights, man, I think it was Last Name Brewing in Upland, they had, I would say, every British actor a different British actor was guessed by every team. So it was like, nobody guessed John Cleese, maybe one team. Uh, and all the other ones, it was like Hugh Grant, Benedict Cumberpatch, uh, Ricky Gervais, like everybody you can imagine. And it was the most variety, the biggest variety of guesses I've ever had for a single question. I think there were 12 different guesses of British actors. Number three, Chick Hicks, Ramon, and Fillmore are all characters in what trilogy? That would be Cars. Never seen them. But now Disney Plus is coming out. And a big shout out to Disney Plus coming out this Tuesday. I mentioned it in the show notes, and I'll mention it again now real quick. Uh, Every Tuesday will be Disney Plus Day. So I'll be doing an episode on something I found on Disney Plus, whether it's an episode or a series or an original movie or a documentary or something like that. So if you like Disney, if you have Disney Plus, you can kind of watch along with me and play some trivia on something specific from the service starting this Tuesday. Number four, Big Hero 6 takes place in a fictional town mixing two cities from Japan and the U.S. What is the city's name? San Francisco. San Francisco. number four. Number five, though, she wants to be a famous chef. What is Tiana's job? Waitress. Number five, waitress. Number six, in what film would you hear the song Zero to Hero? Hercules. Hercules. Number six. Number seven, in The Little Mermaid, Ursula has a mole. Poor, unfortunate moles 
It's on her right cheek. Number seven, her right cheek, played by Queen Latifah in that stage show that people were dogging just the other day. Have they ever done one of these live (laughs) versions of a Disney thing that's gone well? I feel like nobody's into it, and they keep making them. Number eight, after Snow White and Pinocchio, what is the third theatrically released Disney film? Fantasia. Number eight, Fantasia. Number nine, what's the name of the gypsy girl that Quasimodo falls in love with in The Hunchback of Notre Dame? That's the girl named Esmeralda. She dances around in the festival and things. Number 10, how much money did Frozen make worldwide? It was $1.2 billion, your second choice of the options I gave you. Not nine sixty nine, not $2.1, not $3.6, but $1.2 billion. And I bet... Frozen 2 makes $2 billion. That would be my guess. And the bonus for two points, what are the names of the fox and the hound from the 1981 movie of the same name? Todd and Copper were those names. Todd with one D, if you wanted to get very specific. Todd and Copper, the fox and the hound. Those are the questions and answers for today's guys. I hope you had a good time playing along with the episode. And it's time for the question of the day. Brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. What 80s movie starred Weird Al? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was John Ritter, the dad from both Problem Child movies. And your trivia team name of the day is Booby Trap Music. Booby Trap Music. You can use that next time you're thinking of a fun pun before and after type trivia team name. Check out Funky Monkey Designs at fmdesignsinc.com. And thank you guys for listening to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you.